I've got two Azure Virtual Desktop updates for you, but to know why they are important, we need to talk first about your bank account. Now, most of us keep our money in a bank account, which is kind of like how Azure encrypts and stores your data securely at rest. And you can access your account by speaking to a teller at the bank or using the ATM. And that's just like how Azure encrypts your data in transit over the network. And for most things that you do, those two layers are good enough. But sometimes you don't want the bank staff or the ATM to be able to look inside your transactions and see what's going on. And for those times, you need a special isolated terminal inside the bank to keep your data secure while in use. And that's exactly what Azure Confidential Computing does. Confidential computing protects your data while it's being processed in the cloud by using a hardware-based trusted execution environment, or TEE. This encrypts your data in memory and verifies the cloud environment before processing anything. This way, no one can see or access or tamper with your data, not your users, not the admins, and not even Azure. Now, why would anyone need this? Are you some kind of supervillain hiding on the dark web from a shadow government? Well, not really. You might need this kind of high secure environment if you're working in financial or in healthcare, government sectors, or just want plain old data privacy, but you still wanna take advantage of the cloud's scalability, flexibility, and cost effectiveness. Which brings me to the first update. You can use confidential computing on your AVD session host. And I'll show you how in just a second. But first, I want to tell you about that second update. See, ever since Windows 11 came out, it required a TPM chip to work, which is a good thing because TPMs are required for confidential computing, along with something else called Trusted Launch. Now, Trusted Launch takes that TPM along with Secure Boot for your Generation 2 VMs and signs the bootloader, the OS kernel, and the drivers so when your VM boots up, you are secure from any kind of bootkit and rootkit attacks. And those things can get underneath the operating system and hide from all your security software. And as of right now, Trusted Launch is the new default option when building your AVD session host. Now, when you're building your host, you select all of your basic options as always, and then you get down to the security type, which now has the new default option of Trusted Launch. Click the drop down here and you'll see the other options like standard, which could be used, but I wouldn't recommend it over Trusted Launch. And then you have confidential VMs, and that's built on top of the Trusted Launch technology. So that way you get the most secure computing environment possible. But wait, there's more. You also need to make sure that Secure Boot and VTPM and Integrity Monitoring are all checked. Now, Integrity Monitoring is a new feature that uses the Microsoft Azure Attestation Endpoint to validate your platform state. And that's kind of like how a bank will have outside auditors come in and inspect the books and make sure everything's doing what it should be doing. Now, if you have a firewall or network security group protecting your environment, you're gonna need another rule for this all to work. And the source and the source port range for that should be any. Then you wanna change your destination to use a service tag. And then in the service tag dropdown, just search for Azure Attestation this should be using port 8080, and then the rest of the settings are good. Scroll down, give it a name and a description, and then click Add. And this rule will allow the attestation extension, which will be installed on your virtual machines, to communicate with the service. Now back in our session host build, there's two more things that we need to talk about. Confidential VMs are built on top of Trusted Launch, which uses that TPM to sign the bootloader, but it takes more than that to create a trusted execution environment. It takes a special processor like the AMD Epic that supports a feature called Secure Encrypted Virtualization Secure Nested Paging or SEV SMP for short. And as of right now, that means that there's only four virtual machine sizes that you can pick from today. And one of those has already been selected here for you. If not, it's because you're in a region that it's not supported in yet. And there are only five active regions today and that's East and West US, North and West Europe, and Southeast Asia. And I do expect this list to grow over time. Then you set the number of VMs you wanna build, like always, pick your disk type, and speaking of your disk, there's one more thing we need to talk about. 
In Azure, the disk is a separate resource from your virtual machine. So we're gonna need to secure your disk as well. And to do this, you need to check the confidential computing encryption box. This is gonna use that TEE and TPM as an additional layer to encrypt and bind the disks to this VM, which really just means this VM is the only thing that can access this disk. And this is required for integrity monitoring at a station to pass. So here's a pro tip. If you've got your page file in your Azure VMs running on the temp drive, which is usually the D drive, that's not going to be encrypted through this process. So make sure you move that page file onto your C drive for that last little bit of security. Then you just complete the build as you've always done. When it's complete, you can go look at the VM's extensions and see your attestation extension is installed. And from inside Windows, you can open the tpm.msc, verify that you've got a TPM 2.0 chip enabled, and then look at your system properties and you can see Secure Boot is there as well. Then double check your advanced system settings, go to the performance section and click the settings button, go to the advanced tab and click the change button, make sure the C drive is set to system managed and it's only enabled on the C drive. All your other disks are set to none. And with that, you've secured your VMs as best as possible. But that's not the end of the story. There's a whole lot of other layers of AVD that have to be secure, like your network and your identities, FS logics, not to mention stuff inside the operating system. And you can learn all about it right over here. Happy learning.